Hiya pals, Disney devotee here. Welcome back to a new Dream Snaps day. And it's also a big day because Disney Dreamlight Valley just posted more information about the next update we're getting. And it is going to come a week from today, August 21st. So I am super stoked. If you haven't seen it yet, we're going to be getting Tiana in the Valley and the final chapter in the Rift in Time storyline with Jafar. So I'm pretty stoked. Obviously, I will get videos of that next week. It'll probably have to be two videos. So I might do like Wednesday and Thursday because in the past when I've tried to do the Valley update and the Rift in Time update all in one video, it's just way too long. <laughs> so we'll try to make it a little more digestible and do it in smaller bites, so to speak. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be super cool. And also I wanted to try something really quick before we do Dream Snaps. Um, I saw that I can have a higher object level or what's the word yeah i guess that's that's the right word playing on the playstation 5 and someone was saying in one of the groups i'm in how to do it so instead of only having an object limit of 3000 i can have 6000 which would be great so we're going to try it because i'm not sure if i'm actually playing like the playstation 4 version on the playstation 5 Oh, and there's the store stuff. But anyway, we're going to try it. <laughs> All that to say, let's see if we can make this work. There it is. Extra object limit is turned off. So let's see what happens when we turn it on. Let's give it a try. Okay. Did it work? Let's see. Yes, it worked, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, well, since we already have this pulled up, let's look at the shop and then see what our Dream Snap Challenge is for today. Okay. So the top two things I already have, obviously. Fiery Raven, meh. Ranger Set, meh. Ooh, that's kind of cool, the Desert Palace. I'm really digging the Red Panda Pillars, though. I'm definitely going to get that. For a thousand, totally worth it. With all this um, Red Panda stuff, I hope this means we will be getting May May sometime soon. Some turning red stuff. That would be awesome. Whoops, I really enjoyed that movie. So, I like that it's getting some representation and love in the game. Okay, and that's it. Not as impressive this week, but that's okay. We're going to get some really cool stuff next week. So, I can't complain too much. And the star path has ended, and I already completed it. So, I'm happy about that. <laughs> The rewards, blah, 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 dream snap, current challenge. Ooh, interesting. What is this? Okay, it's a decor challenge. Dream light diamonds showcase. All that glitters really isn't gold. Decorate your valley with precious gems and shining stones of all kinds. Show off your collection and shine on. Oh, that's going to be interesting. I don't really have a lot of extra stones lying around, so we might have to do a little mining. Hmm, interesting. Okay, lavish and wondrous. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this week's challenge, but that's okay. And we definitely want to do our voting. Let's see what awesome dream snaps we have this week. Which one is this? Oh, picnic day. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> I really like how my picnic one turned out. <clears throat> but like I said, the ones that I really like, 
don't seem to do very well. And then the ones that I think are mediocre do really well. So psh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys were keeping up with the D23 news that came out over the weekend. A lot of pretty exciting announcements. Um, I'd have to say the one I am most excited about is the Villains Land that is coming to Magic Kingdom. That's going to be so cool. I've been wanting something like that for a really long time, so I can't wait. Valley Views rewarded. Oh boy. Well, we'll have to check the mailbox. Let's see how bad I did, you guys. <laughs> Um, they're also bringing cars. Why won't it let me check my mail? There we go. Cars to Frontierland. I guess that's kind of where they're going to put it where Tom Sawyer Island is now, which like, I guess people were very upset about <laughs> Tom Sawyer Island getting replaced. And I don't know, maybe, maybe this is controversial, but I, I don't see the appeal of Tom Sawyer Island. Maybe, I guess, if you were a kid and you grew up with it, you know, maybe you have some nostalgia for it. But um, I had never gone over there until like two years ago. And, oh, there's my rewards for Mulan's welcome. Okay, that did pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> um... And I just, I don't know, I was underwhelmed. I was underwhelmed by, can I drop it? There we go. I haven't played in a while. I'm pretty rusty. <laughs> it just wasn't my jam. So I personally think it's a great idea to update it and put something new there. But, you know, oh, well, okay, that works. <laughs> Obviously, if you disagree and you like Tom Sawyer Island and you're sad that it's being replaced, I totally respect that. And I totally get it. You know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Um, I can't say I'm a fan of Cars, so Cars Land, I could take or leave. <laughs> so while I am happy they are changing Tom Sawyer Island, I can't say that I'm super stoked with what they're replacing it with, but... Whatever, I guess. I know a lot of kids love cars, so um, I think it's going to be a big hit. <laughs> I don't know where they're putting Villains Land, to be honest. If you know, let me know in the comments down below, but I haven't seen. Um, and they're doing a lot of really exciting stuff in Animal Kingdom. They're going to do some... Encanto themed stuff and a new Indiana Jones ride, I think, or attraction at Animal Kingdom. I think that's great. Animal Kingdom really needs some new stuff over there. It's easily my least favorite park, so that's exciting news. See, see what I mean? See, look at this, you guys. My Mulan one, which I didn't think was very good, I got a lot of moonstones for. My pick, oh no, this is the Valley Views one, never mind. That one was just mediocre too, but I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> it's just, it really is a crapshoot, you guys. Like, you just can't put too much stock in how many moonstones you get each, each week from your dream snaps because you just really never know. It's truly luck of the draw. Oh, another one of those. All right. So, you know, oh, that's cute. I like that jacket. So don't beat yourself up if your dream snap doesn't do really well. Because you just never know. Eh, we'll clean up this mess in a little bit. I don't know why it's still saying I have something in my mailbox. There's nothing there. Unless I'm missing something. What am I missing? Hmm. I don't know. It's just being weird, I guess. Okay. Well, let's see what's in Scrooge's shop. 
and then we will do our dream snap. But yeah, um, also from D23, <clears throat> excuse me, I saw they are adding a Coco attraction at Disneyland, which that is another movie that I feel like doesn't get enough love. I love Coco. I thought it was a fantastic movie. It made me just ball. <laughs> it is such a well done film. So that's great. They deserve some representation in the parks. Sorry, Scrooge. Oh, and a new nighttime spectacular light up parade. That was a terrible way of describing it. But a new nighttime parade is also coming to Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. So that's going to be cool. Bye bye. I'm trying to think of what else they announced. I know I'm forgetting something, but, you know, there was a lot. Oh, I saw they're going to do a Walt Disney animatronic at Disneyland. And it's my understanding it's going to be in the same building as where President Lincoln is. And it's going to alternate between Disney and Lincoln. I think that, I think, unless I'm misunderstanding, I'm pretty sure that's what they were saying. Um, again, I saw a lot of people, like, throwing a fit, basically, <laughs> about the Walt Disney animatronic, which I don't know why. I think that's really cool. And I think Walt Disney would have absolutely loved that. I think we forget that, like, the younger generations, the generations after me especially, don't all really know who Walt Disney is. They may not even know that he was a real person. So why not have an animatronic of him, um, you know, where he can teach children about his life and his passion and creating the Disney company? I don't know. I'm personally all for it. It's like an attraction disguised as a history lesson, you know? <laughs> Walt loved that kind of stuff, so I don't understand why people are freaking out about that either. Like, here's the deal. <laughs> I'm going to get on my little soapbox for a minute. But seriously, people complain and complain and complain that they want new stuff in the parks. They want new stuff in the parks. So Disney delivers on that, and then they complain about that. Like, uh, truthfully... Nothing they do will make everyone happy, obviously, and nothing they do will ever be good enough. So, you know, it's just, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. <laughs> and am I excited about everything new coming to the parks? Of course not, but I'm not gonna like stomp my feet and say that Walt's rolling in his grave and this has tarnished the D Disney legacy. I just think that kind of stuff is very childish and extremely over the top. Very dramatic. Anyway, yeah, so lots of announcements from D23. Uh, we now know when the new update for Disney Dreamlight Valley is coming next week. And you guys, I have finally booked a trip to the Disney parks, so I'm going to be going back. I can't wait. Obviously, I will be sharing lots of footage. I'm going to be trying some new things that I've never tried before, so I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, of course, I'm not going to share the exact dates I'm going because, you know, that's personal, but <laughs> when I go... I'll be sure to share all my experiences. Um, I'm trying to think, let's see. I'm trying the Disney dining plan for the first time. I'm really excited about that. I've actually never tried it. So um, it just seemed like a really good deal. And I know people were so excited when the dining plan came back. It's very popular. So it was like, why not try it? It seems like it's, it's, a good deal so that's fun I'm doing the quick service dining plan so essentially you get two quick service meals and a snack 
slash beverage, non-alcoholic, each day or each night. So like if you're staying nine or ten nights, that's how many dining plan days worth you get. And you get the refillable travel mug for drinks. So yeah, I'm super excited. That's going to be a totally new experience for me. I'm going to be trying the Minnie Mouse lift. I've never done that before. So I'll be sure to share all about that. Let's see, what else am I doing? I know there's, I know there's other stuff, I just can't remember. <laughs> Oops, okay, let's take the backpack off. I know it's not an outfit challenge, but you know, I gotta change my outfit to fit the vibe to inspire myself. I might need some pretty wings this week. Kind of feeling like some wings. So yeah, this past week has been a lot of Disney excitement around the house here. I can't wait. Let's see, hmm. I don't really have like a diamond necklace. Maybe, I'm gonna change my hair. I don't know about the crown, but it is sparkly. And conveniently, I actually do have some gems in my inventory. And I'm pretty sure I might actually have some in my chest. So we'll go check in a minute. But I think I'm going to do the picture here. I think it's kind of cute. Um, oh, hair. <laughs> I am not multitasking well here, you guys. So... Literally, I had my finger on the button and I was about to hit record when the power blipped and the internet dropped. So I'm really glad <laughs> that happened before I started recording. And hopefully it doesn't happen again. If you saw my little blooper reel that I posted yesterday in my shorts, it actually happened while I re was recording Friday's video yesterday the power briefly blipped out, so that was fun. <laughs> I think it's probably from construction, but who knows? It's not like it's super hot. I mean, you know, it's hot for summer, I guess, but it's not like, I don't think so hot that the power would go out because like the grid's overloaded from people running their AC. I don't think that's what it is, but then again, who knows? That's cute. I do need to change my shoes too. You can't see my shoes, but I know, I know they don't match under there. So there we go. Let's see, who should be my companion? <clears throat> Excuse me. My first thought is the royal regal, I'm sorry, regal fox, but I do use him for like all of my dream snaps. <laughs> so what else kind of says bougie or gems and sparkling? Not really any of them, <laughs> to be honest. Hmm, maybe the flowery capybara kind of goes with my dress. All right, cute. I'm digging it. Okay, so let's go check my chest really quick and then we'll come back. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm super excited with Tiana coming next week that we're going to get Tiana's palace. And it looks like, it's hard to say, but it looks like we might be getting um, some new sort of cooking options and elements and she's going to have a stand with already made meals that we can buy which that is going to be a time saver I am super excited about that how do I get over there there we go it's been a while it's been a week <laughs> Oh shoot, what did I do? I don't even know. Oops, well, oh well. <laughs> <clears throat> oh 
Oh, and hearing um, Mulan singing reminds me, I believe, and I apologize if I get his name wrong, but I believe the Disney animator, I think his name is Mark Hen, maybe? Um, anyway, he was made one of the Disney legends, and a bunch of the Disney princess voice actresses were there um, in the ceremony to honor him and present him with the award. And that was super cool. We had Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel, and Paige O'Hara, the voice of Belle, Anika, I'm going to say it wrong, Anika Nani Rose, the voice of Tiana, Linda Larkin, the voice of Jasmine, and the voice of Mulan, whose name I have forgotten. I apologize. Uh, but they are all characters that he created. And I recently talked about him in a video, and I'm trying to remember what video that was. <sighs> I can't remember. If you remember, let me know. But anyway, that was super cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis was also made a Disney legend, and Lindsay Lohan and Jodie Foster presented the award to her because of Freaky Friday. Uh, Harrison Ford was also made a Disney legend, and I think it was just Bob Iger <laughs> gave him the award. I didn't watch all of the ceremony, but um, I believe it's actually going to be on Disney Plus in a couple weeks, so that's exciting. I'm looking forward to watching that. And Friday, I will be talking about Camp Rock. It's the next, I guess you could say, episode in my series where I am reviewing... Wow. Let's see, day. let's drop this. Um, reviewing Disney Channel musicals. Boop. And it's going to be an interesting one, so... You don't want to miss it. <laughs> I actually need to watch Camp Rock 2 this week, so that is on my to-do list. I don't want to give anything away. Actually, this will give it away, but I'm not so sure I'm super excited about watching Camp Rock 2. <laughs> Although I have heard through the grapevine, some people think that Camp Rock 2 is actually better than the first Camp Rock? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. What do you think, you guys? Do you think that's that's probably enough gems, huh? Probably. And, like, what the heck are we going to put it on? I guess whatever's in the category, the requirements. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> this feels like a weird one to me. I don't know. I what do you guys think? Should I have someone hang out with me? I feel like Scrooge is too obvious because he was in the description photo, you know? Let's see who's hanging around. Who else is kind of bougie and... Ooh, maybe Daisy Duck. That'd be kind of cute. Let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> Where is Daisy Duck? Is she in her house? Oh, Daisy. Oh, Toodles. There's like a little princess party going up over here. Anna, Ariel, Moana. <laughs> Why wasn't I invited? Oh, there she is. Let's go get Daisy. And we are about 10 days away from... Princess Week, you guys. If you didn't know, I'm super excited. I love Princess Week at Disney. I did a really fun video for it last year, so if you're interested in watching it, I highly recommend it. I don't know. I don't know. I have an idea for ice. Princess Week. I'll still be busy with my Disney musicals. And I'll be busy with the Dreamlight Valley uh, update <laughs> next week. But I think it would be really fun to do um, 
my top 10 favorite Disney princesses or like rank the Disney princesses. But if I don't do top 10 and I'm just ranking Disney princesses, I don't know, that gets a little murky only because some of the characters that people consider to be Disney princess, you know, I don't know, there's a debate to be made. Like, are they a Disney princess? Are they not? For example, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Some people will argue that she is, which is crazy to me, but, you know, whatever. I'm trying to think of who else. Um, I don't know, but, you know, or like even like Princess Leia. I would argue she's a Disney princess because she's a princess and she's now Disney, but some people will argue that she's not. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, I think I'll probably, if I do anything, I'll do top 10 favorite Disney princesses because that's something I can do pretty easily while I'm busy with my other videos, but I still want to do something for Princess Week. But yeah, I did a fun video last week all about the Disney princesses and how they've impacted my life. Um, I had a lot of fun making that. That's one of my favorite videos I've ever done, probably. So probably the one I'm most proud of, though. I don't know. There's a few, but I'm really proud of the video I did about Hilary Duff and child stars in general. Um, I studied early childhood education, so I'm like really passionate about child development and what is appropriate and not appropriate, appropriate for children and um, especially like how we just mistreat children in the Hollywood industry. It's, I think it's a really important topic and I'm so glad that um, the recent Nickelodeon documentary that came out, whose name I can't remember at the moment. It'll come to me eventually. But anyway, I am so glad that documentary kind of brought some more attention to the issue. But I also think like, you know, it was hot for a minute and now people kind of don't care anymore again, which is really sad. Because I think it's super important to talk about. Um, maybe we could put that there. So yeah, I'm super proud of that video just because it's a topic I'm very passionate about. Um, I'm also really proud of my queer baiting video because again, that's obviously very important to me, being a queer woman myself. <laughs> I did really enjoy ranking my favorite Disney cats and dogs. <laughs> I do enjoy doing top tens. I haven't done one in quite a while. I've just been busy with, you know, my series. <laughs> Trying to find like kind of bougie tables to put gems on. That might be enough, I don't know. Let's get rid of that. We're going to move that for now. It's kind of in the way. Now my question is, can you even put gems on the tables? I've like, that's something I've never tried before to be honest. <laughs> Guess we're going to find out, right? move that over there for now. We're just going to hide it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's another rock there. Where did these come from? That's so weird. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see. 
I don't think I have anything else, really. I don't know. So, yes, with the series I am currently working on, <laughs> um, I'm doing Camp Rock this week, then Camp Rock 2 next week. Then after that, I think I'm going to do the zombie series and finish off with High School Musical 2. Uh, or high, high, school, high School Musical. The High School Musical movies, not just two. All of them. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Oh, I need some more caffeine, apparently. And High School Musical, uh, let's see, High School Musical and High School Musical 2. I have actually seen those, but it's been a very long time, so that's going to be fun. Okay, so then I guess I go into my inventory, and I have to drop the gems and then move them around in furniture mode, right? I'm pretty sure that's how we do it. There's going to be gems everywhere. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> oh, shoot. I have to do it individually, though, don't I? Oh, man. Okay. Let's pick them back up and try this again, except that blue one was by itself anyway. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. We got this. And then looking forward to the future when I am done with this series. I haven't forgotten, I still want to do a video on Mary Blair. <laughs> Walt Disney's, arguably, Walt Disney's favorite Imagineer. I also want to do at least one video, but maybe a couple of videos about Once Upon a Time. I loved that TV series, and I want to talk about some interesting character dynamics on that show that I really loved and how it was done. I just thought it was so well written, at least in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. As the seasons went on, it got a little messy. <laughs> but in the beginning, like especially the first two, maybe three seasons. Those are solid seasons, in my opinion, and just a really, really good show. So if you haven't seen that show, it's on Disney+. Plus. Just a brief overview. It's about, well, our favorite classic Disney characters. You know, Snow White, Prince Charming, the Evil Queen, Pinocchio, uh, well, they do have Rumpelstiltskin. He's not really a Disney character. But anyway, fairy tale characters. Uh, I mean, a ton of them. Belle. Gosh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of any now. Like, I mean, any, almost anyone you can think of eventually made it onto the show, basically. Um, they even did a Wizard of Oz storyline, which I, some parts I liked and some parts I didn't. Um, but anyway, Snow White and Prince Charming, well, you know, Snow White, obviously the evil queen, has a beef with her, and I love how they did that. So the evil queen gets this curse from Rumpelstiltskin that she places on everyone. I can't remember the name of the where they live. It's, you know, like a magical land. I have to rewatch it. It's been a long time. Um, that sends all of the fairy tale characters to our world, to the real world, but they're cursed, so they don't remember who they are. So Snow White doesn't know she's Snow White. Prince Charming doesn't know he's Prince Charming, and all of that. And right before the curse happens, whoops, see, I'm so bad at this multitasking. <laughs> um, right before the curse takes effect, Snow White and Prince Charming have a baby. 
and they put her in an enchanted wardrobe made by Geppetto, and it sends her to the real world, but she's outside the curse. And they do that with the hopes that someday she will find them and help break the curse. And not to give too much away, but she does. <laughs> but then there's like new curses and new challenges and new villains. And it's a lot of fun. I really liked it. I thought it was a good show. They even later on did a musical episode that, oh man, I was, I was here for it. I love a good musical episode. You know, like, Xena did a couple of musical episodes. I know Buffy the Vampire Slayer did some musical episodes. I'm sure there's some other shows that have done it too. I just can't remember. Or I haven't seen them. So, yeah. It's a really fun show. And it has a lot of heart. It's... It's, it can be very campy, um, but also really sweet. And the relationships feel believable and um, it just works. It works for me. It's a good show. So I want to talk about that show. <laughs> and then as we get closer to the fall, I am going to be going back to TGIF shows and talking about the Halloween episodes. Last year, I ranked all of the Sabrina the Teenage Witch um, Halloween episodes, and that was a lot of fun. But Sabrina was not the only TGIF show to have some really fun Halloween episodes. Family Matters especially did some off-the-wall, downright crazy <laughs> Halloween episodes. So that's going to be an absolute blast. And there might even be a few vlogs in the future about these new things I'm going to be trying at Disney World. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. Oh, and I was also thinking, see, I, there's always all these video ideas I want to do. It's just a matter of getting to them all. <laughs> um, so... I am also a, look at all these, I think that's a good start. I am also a huge Judy Garland fan. Some of you probably already know that, I don't really make it a secret. <laughs> I love The Wizard of Oz and Judy Garland. And when I was a young teenager, her daughter, Lorna Luft, See, I'm going to get to the point here in a minute how this relates to Disney. <laughs> Her daughter, Lorna Luft, came out with a memoir titled Me and My Shadows, Life with Judy Garland. And then a couple years later on ABC, they did a miniseries of, based on the book. So it was a miniseries based on Judy Garland's life from Lorna Luft's perspective. And... Like I said, it was on ABC, so I was thinking like, oh, wait a minute, that means it's technically Disney. So <laughs> I want to talk about that miniseries. There's a lot of stuff I really loved in it, and there's a couple things I was not so crazy about. But overall, I think it was very well done. Um, if you saw the movie Judy, with Renee Zellweger, she won the Oscar for a few years ago. That one, I, I did overall enjoy it. It wasn't always factually accurate, but you know, it's really hard. It's really hard to be factually, completely factually accurate in those kind of things. A lot of it was kind of made up, sort of. <laughs> um, but surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, I think that Me and My Shadows actually did a much better job than Judy. And maybe that's partially because Me and My Shadows actually is Judy's entire life story. Like, you know, from the very first time she performed on stage doing vaudeville, you know, up until her untimely passing and, you know, her daughter kind of grieving 
it's I just think it's a, it's a well done mini series, and I think it would be a lot of fun to talk about. Obviously, there's also Oz the Great and Powerful, which was a Disney movie, and Return to Oz. There's also in the 1960s um, the Mickey Mouse Club or the Mouseketeers, I guess. I guess blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they did a whole musical episode that was based on the Patchwork Girl of Oz. So there is actually a lot of Oz within the Disney universe that I want to talk about. So that's going to be, I think, a super fun video. I don't know if I'll just talk about me and my shadows. Like, it might need its own separate video. But if I just talk about, like, you know, just Oz overall <laughs> and Disney, I will, of course, have to include that. And some of you might remember the great movie ride, which they had at Hollywood Studios. And I, that was my fav one of my favorite Disney rides. I was so sad to see it go. Um, and of course, they had some Wizard of Oz stuff in that ride. And funnily enough, I had just learned not that long ago that Judy Garland's oldest daughter, Liza Minnelli, was the voice of Dorothy on that ride. And I had no freaking idea. I, I, I might have to lose my Oz fan badge for that. I can't believe I didn't know that until recently, but that's pretty cool. And actually, I heard a rumor that during the 1960s, Walt Disney approached Liza Minnelli to do some sort of Oz project with him, but she turned it down because she didn't want, especially at that time when she was still trying to establish herself and her career, um, she didn't want to do anything, you know, too closely related to her mother's career, which makes perfect sense to me. I totally get that. So I think that's so interesting. I don't know what project Walt was approaching her for. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of what ended up being the Mouseketeers number. They sing like the Rainbow Road to Oz in that. That might sound familiar to some of you. You might have heard that song before in like some old, old Disney clips. But um, Walt Disney wanted to do an Oz movie for pretty much the entirety of his career. And it never panned out while he was alive, sadly. But and of course, we all know that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was partially inspired by the success. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Reverse that. <laughs> I'm getting that wrong. The Wizard of Oz was partially inspired by the success of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So if we hadn't had Snow White, we probably would not have gotten The Wizard of Oz in 1939. So anyway... That's probably enough of me nerding out. I'm so sorry if you're bored to death. <laughs> I think it's absolutely fascinating. And that's why I have a YouTube channel, so I can just go on and on about this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, we're almost done, and then we'll get this dream snap finished. Because I have a video for Friday that desperately needs to be edited. <laughs> I hope this looks good. I feel like it's kind of messy, but I mean, I, there's not really a super neat way to do it. Although I'm sure someone, I'm sure there'll be lots of people who actually think of a really cool way to do this, but this is the best I got. <laughs> Someday I will master dream snaps, but today is not that day. So, yeah, what do you guys think about the update coming next week? Are you excited? I'm excited. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been, I've been ready for an update. <laughs> I kind of did everything. So I will like play the game hardcore until I do like almost everything in the update and then 
I just pretty much play on Wednesdays to do the dream snaps until they add something new. So I am ready. And I'm glad we're getting Tiana. We need some more Disney princesses. In my opinion. Man, I did a lot of these gems. I don't even know what these are. I almost called them citrazine, but I think that's <laughs> I think that's that's the name the generic name for um Zertek. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a hot mess, you guys. Okay. Alright. That's not bad. Man, I wish they looked more sparkly, though. They look so dull. Do you think if I turn that light on, it'll look better? I don't think I can get over there now. I've totally blocked my way. Oh, here we go. Well, that did nothing. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Let's see. Whoops. Maybe if I add, like, those little candles on the ground, it'll make them sparkle. I don't even know if I have any more in here. Aha! Ooh, I do! Fantastic. Let's see what happens here if we add these beauties. Yeah, let, let me know in the comments down below. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. If any of those video topics that I discussed interests you at all. I hope they do. <laughs> they interest me. I'm excited about it. Um, but yeah, I still want to do a video about Mary Blair. And um, I wanted to do a video about like the strike that happened at Disney Studios, but I don't know. That may kind of just be sidelined for now, because it's not necessarily a fun, uplifting topic, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's try this here. Daisy. Oh, shoot. Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Come on, girl. <laughs> Okay, let's try this now. Put our hand on our hip, we're being sassy, me and Daisy. And again, like, the music. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. The music is like super loud in my headphones sometimes, and I honestly don't know why. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, so if it sounds like I'm yelling, I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to do that, I promise. Okay. Hand on our hip. That's kind of cute. I like Daisy kind of looking at me. No, I kind of dig it. It's kind of fun, like Wonderland vibes. So since I'm digging it, I'm not going to get any dream, yeah, any moonstones. <laughs> but I guess at the end of the day, you just have to do dream snaps for yourself. I guess just like with everything else in life. Do it for yourself, not for other people. All right. Successfully submitted. Okay, well, hopefully it does all right. Thanks, Daisy. I am not picking up that mess right now. <laughs> I have some dishes to do and a video to edit. So we are going to wrap this mother up, you guys. I don't know why I'm, wow. I don't know where I'm going. 
Well, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble again this week, you guys. If you want to share your dream snap with me, I would love to see it. You can tag me on Instagram. I'm Disney Devotee Vlogs. Tag me in the comments of your post. Tag me in your stories. I'll see it that way. And I will definitely hype you up and tell you what an awesome, amazing dream snap you submitted because... Yeah, I like to support other people and I love getting inspiration from other people's creativity. So yes, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope you will join me on Friday for my Camp Rock review. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.